Is there any one thing you think Congress could do or politicians could do to help? Uh, you know, I think that with regards to what our mission is, um, and last week I spoke at the National Press Club, uh, which is available as a C-SPAN YouTube. Um, I, uh, I think that we as Americans have to get out of the chemical industry and we have to dial everything back to a much more simpler time when ingredients uh, were basically stuff that might have grown in your grandma's garden. I think that Americans for the most part are trapped in a revolving door of toxic exposure, chronic illness, and drug dependency. And all that's, of all that, uh, you know, revolving door serves the chemical industry and big pharma very well. The richer they get, the poorer our health. So we need to not wait for elected officials because frankly, I don't think I'll live that long. But um, we just have to use our, you know, old fashioned consumerism and hard earned dollars to make more um, healthy choices so that we force manufacturers to be more responsible. Because at the end of the day, uh, manufacturers don't want to kill us. They just want to sell us, but they'll sell us anything that we're willing to buy, which sadly right now is anything. So we have to change in a grassroots effort bottom up and just start dictating. If we all collectively stop drinking cola today, they would stop making it tomorrow. It wouldn't matter who was in the White House. It wouldn't matter what legislation didn't get passed. It wouldn't matter because the bottom line is the bottom line. And so we are the ones that wield that power as consumers. We are the largest consumers on the planet. Women are the largest consumers in America. And we have to be responsible about that. Uh, right now, most of the things that are industrial farm foods, uh, the toxic and carcinogenic chemicals that's in our personal care items, and um, the um, cleaning products, gardening products, everything is not serving us well. It's hurting us, it's hurting our families, it's hurting our pets. Anything that has long lasting smells, uh, has phthalates in it, and uh, you know, it, we as Americans ingest about a credit card's worth of microplastic every single week. That's also not good for us. We have to cut way back on our plastic consumption because plastic is something that the earth simply cannot digest. Recycling is bogus. It doesn't work. It, you know, the job can't be done. You have to go to cartons and uh, glass. And uh, whatever w the bill of goods that was sold to us in the 20th century that was considered convenient and modern is the exact opposite. It's actually terribly inconvenient and dangerous to everyone's health.